Your chickens love greens, along with seeds and bugs. So first we'll talk about some of the green vegetable treats that they like. They will eat a variety of weeds in your garden that they don't consider weeds at all. And then they'll also eat vegetables that you've got around. So one weed, for example, that I discovered our chickens love is Queen Anne's lace, which looks like a false carrot top. And our particular chickens happen to love the Queen Anne's lace more than carrots. And so I actually harvest them and I keep the plant going and I just harvest bits of the Queen Anne's lace. And then when I'm gonna give it to them, I tear it in little tiny pieces and then I scatter it in their run so that everybody has a chance to get some. You can also keep scissors by your coop and chop things up into little pieces. If you've got, for example, these kale leaves got munched quite a bit by slugs. To you, you might not want to eat them for dinner, but you can totally take them off their stem and then tear them up again into little tiny pieces and then throw them in for your chickens and they will be thrilled. If you have goats, the goats will compete and try to take the kale and will happily eat the kale whole. And excitingly, we'll also eat the stems. Another thing you can do is if you have a food processor, you can take stems like this, apple cores, other fruits and vegetables, and put them in the food processor so that they come out as a little tiny kind of pulp and then it's really readily accessible to the chickens and it doesn't get them in any trouble with digestion. They of course love lettuce and other tender greens and they're pretty smart. They can tell if something has wilted or gone bad and they'll often completely ignore it. It's fine to have it in the coop, it'll compost and break down in there. But if there's a fresh green leaf to choose from, they'll definitely choose it. Or if there's one weed that they like over another, there's some things that we have that they totally ignore. And then there's other weeds and vegetables from your garden that they love. One warning for some weeds is that if they were just out grazing on their own, they'd be taking little bits of this clover, little bites at a time, and they would never have access to the whole plant and all of the roots. So sometimes they can get themselves into a bit of a trouble, like this is a spaghetti noodle, and they'll try to take the whole thing down if they can't break it off. And then they'll end up with something that's really fibrous. So if it's a root that you can't imagine being able to chew and easily digest yourself, just be careful with it. And if it's, if it's big enough, they'll ignore it and they'll just eat the bites around it. And if in doubt, just again, you can strip off the root and leave that aside and then just break up the greens for them and scatter. For grass, grass both good and bad. So with baby chicks and even your grown, age, grown up chickens, if there's a big tuft of dirt underneath, they will go through all this dirt, looking for bugs, eating bits of dirt, and they'll take little bites of this green grass. By the time that this green grass wilts, they won't be as interested in it anymore. So they won't eat long pieces of this grass. When this grass is not connected to a big tuft of dirt, Again, you don't want them to end up eating these roots because normally if they did, they'd only be able to take little bites. One thing that happens sometimes with well-meaning neighbors and maybe even yourself is that you've got grass clippings. And sometimes when people are trying to be more sustainable, they cut their grass less often and they might have a lot of grass clippings left behind and they know chickens love greens, so they might toss them in. If there are no roots and the grass is just like this, they have no way of really eating it. So they might step on it a little bit and try to take bites but at some point they'll get this in their mouth and then they're just gonna go walk out around me. and they can't get it out. So you have to help them out because they won't be able to necessarily pull that back out and they may continue slurping and pulling it down. And then what can happen is you've got all of these pieces of grass that end up in their crop. And their crop is on the front of their neck, sort of what looks like their chest. And they can make a nest ball in there and then they can keep eating and drinking food and water but meanwhile, this ball of grass just gets tighter, starts fermenting, and it can't pass. So they can actually end up starving and dehydrating themselves. So the smaller that you can tear or cut up any bits of greens, especially things that are really fibrous, like if you imagined chewing this grass, the better. Goats, cows, horses, they're ruminants. So when they're on pasture, they love eating this, and they have all those little ruminant stomachs that process this, bring it back up, they chew their cud. Chickens are not ruminants. So they love eating the greens. It'll make them healthier. It'll make your eggs healthier. But just be careful that they don't eat things that are too fibrous. And another thing would just be that they can't rely on this grass alone. They have to have a balance of protein and carbohydrates. So the idea is that you're giving them a well-balanced feed that they can generally free, cho you know, free choice any time of day that they want it, knowing that it'll generally be about a half a cup a day. And then you can supplement that with other treats.